All right, let's get real. Starting your trading journey can feel quite complicated, right? What software do you need? What hardware do you need? And which broker would you even trust? Don't worry, I've got you. In today's video, I'm breaking down the trading setup that I am using from the brokers that I use to the trading, charting, and order flow software that I use every single day to make trading simple and efficient. Having the right setup isn't just about convenience, it's about setting yourself up for success from day one. Stick around, because once you've got this foundation down, you can focus on what really matters, and that is making moves in the market. So let's get into it. We've already covered a lot you need to know for your trading career. But now we have to move on to the setup introduction. Because a very important question you have to ask yourself is what do you actually need to start trading? And it is essential to have the right tools and environment as that can significantly impact your trading success. So there are two key components you need to know. And that is you need a hardware, which is the physical setup, but also a software, which is your trading software, charting software, but also brokers. And I am going to give you an introduction into what I am using, which you can simply replicate to have an easy and efficient trading setup. So when it comes to hardware requirements, we need to be aware of a couple of things. We need a high performance computer for smooth execution. We need fast processors, but also an adequate RAM. At the same time, we need multiple monitors. So for me, as you have seen, I'm using four monitors. I'm not saying that is what you need when you are starting your trading journey, but when you are getting to that more experienced stage, that can be quite helpful to have a good screen estate because I'm using TradingView on my main monitor, on my two other monitors, I am using Autoflow software, and then I'm also using one monitor, which is for Discord to post updates. So we also need a reliable internet connection. That means a fast and stable connection to avoid delays when executing trades. Okay, so let's now move on to the trading software. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what you can do in TradingView. Over here, you can obviously use all the drawing tools that you find on the left side of your screen. Okay, you can flip between different assets and do your technical analysis for each and every single asset you like to use. When you go over here on the bottom left, you can even type in new assets that you want to look at. So for example, let's choose dot against USDT. We can add that and have a look at my already existing drawings. So this is the drawings that I did last week. I can always find that over here, which I already drew out on TradingView. At the same time, we have an inbuilt trading panel. In one of my further lessons, I'm also going to explain the paper trading or how to connect a real broker to your TradingView. And here we can see we have a selection of various different exchanges we can connect to TradingView, making this not only a nice charting software, but also an actual trading software. So we have an, a almost like a one-stop shop when it comes to TradingView. And I highly recommend using TradingView for your charting when you're just starting out. Now I want to move on to the order flow software. So we have three options that I have used myself. I am mostly using Atas, but we also have Quantower and Exo. All of them are very similar, but they do have some smaller differences. And um, for each and every personality type, there is the one autoflow software that suits you best. For me personally, that is Atas. And I will give you a quick overview of what I am mainly looking at when it comes to autoflow. So let's have a look at my ATA setup. And don't worry, you don't have to understand everything that I'm going through. For these complex templates, we do have a full course over on our website. So here we are looking at my main chart on ATAS. 
This Autoflow software has the advantage that we can even connect our broker to Atas and trade directly via Atas. I'm going to show this over here so I can open the trade panel and what I can do here is market buy, market sell, or I can even create limit orders such as here. Uh, the market is not open, so um, I can't do that right now. Yeah, we can select our predefined stop loss and take profit. We can also um, adjust the trade, close the trade or cancel limit orders. So that is a very convenient way to trade via your order flow software directly. So just to give you a sneak peek, here we can look at my right screen where I'm looking at order flow templates as well. And so order flow templates such as the volume profile or the five minute order flow where I created a full strategy using that template. We can also look at the one minute order flow on my left screen or the CCTR, which is one of the templates we over at Chart Champions like to use. And then we have a one-stop shop where we can do the charting and order flow analysis in one place and also executing the trades right there. All of the other order flow softwares that I already mentioned are very similar, although they have its own characteristics and might look slightly different. Now that we know which charting and also order flow software we use, we have to make a decision on the broker that we use for actually placing our trades. So for that, I'm going to give you an overview of three brokers, each for its individual purpose. Here, I want to look at a broker for trading crypto, which is Bybit. This is one of the brokers that I use myself and I have used for over five years. When it comes to futures trading, I want to give you an overview of AMP because AMP futures can also be connected to ATAS. And when it comes to CFD trading, I can recommend Forex.com. So all of these brokers are brokers that I have tested myself for several years and are the ones that I trust myself. So now let's have a quick look at how the platform Bybit looks like. And here we can see that we have several assets we can choose from. So we have an entire selection that is available on Bybit. We can trade BTC or Ethereum against USDT, but also we can trade the inverse perpetual, which is BTC against Against USDT and the difference is that you need to hold the underlying asset. When it comes to USDT pairs, we only need USDT in our trading account. So when we have a look at this, we can see an inbuilt trading view tool where we can actually do nice drawing as well. So that is what we already have in trading view. But over here, we can also execute trades. So there's the option of using limit orders, but also market orders. We can choose a quantity and, cho and take a trade. We can trade long trades or short trades. What is really nice about the website of Bybit is that we also have the markets overview. Over here, we can select by assets that had a lot of volatility or we can select by assets that have a lot of volume being transacted in the last 24 hours, which makes us aware of the assets that have some very interesting low time frame trading opportunities. So if we go back to here, this is the main panel that you would be using for trading when choosing order flow. We can also see the order book over here to see if there is a good liquidity in the markets. Next, I want to mention a broker that I used for CFD trading. For this, we can go back to TradingView and choose an asset that is tradable via CFDs on Forex.com. If we look at TradingView down here, we can see that we have the possibility to connect Forex.com. Now, Forex.com is a popular broker offering CFDs on a variety of assets, including commodities, indices, and also currencies. We have the key features of competitive spreads, a wide range of assets and advanced trading platforms like MetaTrader. When I'm trading on Forex.com, I choose to use TradingView and connect Forex.com via TradingView as that is a very simple and efficient approach to having the charting and trading tool in one space. What's great about Forex.com is that it's well regulated 
One thing to note though is that CFDs involve high leverage, so it's essential to understand the risks involved. When it comes to futures trading, as I already mentioned, I am using AMP futures. For this, we can go back to ATAS. This is where I would connect my AMP account to this Autoflow software to be able to trade via Autoflow directly. When it comes to AMP, its key features is that it has low margins. So in comparison to a CFD contract, as I explained in the previous video, we have much smaller fees. So for example, if we look at the S&P 500, the futures contract would be the ES contract. And for a full round turn, which is the opening and closing of a position, we only pay $4 in fees. That is a very, very, very low fee considering the position size that we have when it comes to trading a single mini contract. At the same time, we have an access to a variety of future exchanges. We use the CME and multiple trading platforms. As I said, I'm using ATAS as my primary platform. At the same time, we have to keep in mind that futures trading is highly, highly leveraged. So understanding contract specifications and risk is very crucial. So to have a full and complete trading setup, we also should look at supplementary tools. So one, for example, is an economic calendar. For that, we can have a look at TradingView and that one has an inbuilt economic calendar. We can have a look at all the important economic data releases for any specific day. At the same time, we should always have a news feed open. So this can be a real-time financial news platform to track market moving events. This can be Bloomberg, Reuters, or something like Financial Juice. And there's one more thing I wanna bring your attention to, and that is the importance of having a trading journal software. I am personally using TradeZella and this is the one that I've been testing for a long time and I like the most. So here we're looking at one of my journals from a AMP futures account that I'm using for day trades. So this is one of the accounts I'm not using every single day and draw the focus on taking maybe one or one to five trades a week, but nothing more than that. So this is one of the sub accounts that I'm using. And what we can see here is our net PNL. We can also get analysis on the trade win. That means for this, these two weeks, I've only taken seven trades, five of them wins, one break even, and one loss. That is leaving me with an 83.3% win rate. The profit factor, which is the key thing you should focus on is the risk to reward. That means my reward is 3.3 times the amount of risk that I'm taking. So for example, when I'm risking $100, I'm at least aiming for, or this analysis shows that I'm at least making $330 with this trade. You will also get your daily net cumulative PNL. This is always good to see and follow where you are and how your account is growing. Now down here, you will get a selection for every single day and you will see your each and every single day's performance down here. I myself recommend every single one to use a trading journal, especially in the beginning. This is what can set you apart from most traders who don't like to put in the effort and don't use a trading journal like TradeZella. Now, if we have a look at a trading view again, we can summarize what we've learned and also think about one more thing that is creating an efficient trading environment. So it when it comes to ergonomics, we should have a comfortable chart and desk setup for long trading sessions. Because I have to tell you that trading involves long hours in front of the screen, so we should be as comfortable as possible. We should only be focused on what's important, and that is the charts. We should also, and that is something I can highly, highly recommend, establish a routine. So I for myself am following a very strict daily routine that sets me up for the trading day ahead.
There shouldn't be anything that is distracting you and if there is something that's distracting you, it is probably better to take the day off and come back the next day. So, to summarize, a proper setup is crucial for efficient trading. And investing in the right hardware and software will improve your trading experience and decision making. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next one.